We're in Wyoming this morning and we just entered Hot Springs County. We are driving through Wind River Canyon right now. We're taking the canyon down and we're on our way to a search area that I've been interested in for a while. We started out in Lander to try and retrace some of Forrest Fenn's steps. I remember I did that in Lander, Wyoming one time, and the little Popo Aggie River ran through Lander, and I was, I was trying to get a, a rental car in the airport, and this teenage, this 14 or 15 year old boy was renting cars, and I rented a car from him, and I, he asked me what I was doing, I told him I was an arrowhead collector, and he said, well I am too. I said, well, Let's go out and look for arrowheads, and, and he closed up, and the two of us went out on, on the river there, and, and I think both of us found an arrowhead. Well, what do you think? Is this beautiful or what? It is. The top of one of these canyons would be a nice place to rest your bones. Yep. Getting there would be uh, a little difficult, though. Right. It has everything that Forrest Finn talked about, though. The mountains. Pine trees, sagebrush. Yeah. It's about 2,000 feet up these canyon walls. I know. Let's go down farther on the canyon and see what we find. So this is the Wind River. So this is going to change into the Bighorn River in a minute. Right. This is the wetting of the waters. This is where the Bighorn River and Wind River come together. I really like this area because water released from Boysen Reservoir and a thermal spring downstream keep the river open all winter. It provides a natural vegetation that draws a lot of animals, and they say that fish grow really quickly in these waters. According to what I read, the rainbow, cutthroat, and brown trout have gained national fame. I'm here at Wedding of the Waters, the historical sign that they put up. Early explorers arriving at the river in what is now the state of Montana named it the Bighorn for the Bighorn sheep found along it. Other explorers who found the river south of here named it the Wind River. In time, people realized there was actually only one river with two well-established names. To avoid confusion, it was decided that the river upstream from a place half a mile to the south would be called the Wind River and the river downstream the Bighorn. This canyon which, which cuts across and through the Owl Creek Mountains was named the Wind River Canyon. The canyon which the river cuts through in the Pryor Mountains on the Wyoming-Montana border about 100 miles to the northeast retained the name Bighorn Canyon. The site where the river changes its name has been known as Wedding of the Waters, one of the few places where a river changes its name midstream. So with a little imagination, you can probably get quite a few clues out of this area. And Forrest Finn always said, you know, if you use your imagination and then marry the clues, I mean, Wedding of the Waters is a perfect place for me to start out right here. This area at Wedding of the Waters is only 4,300 foot elevation. So I know that the treasure is between 5,000, 10,200 and 5,000, somewhere in that. So this is a bit low right here, but there are mountains that are really high in the area. And there are a lot of places that would be suitable to hide the treasure. We've been out here searching around for two or three hours now, I think, about maybe three hours. And uh, we're above 5,000 foot elevation now. Along this little valley here, uh, the petroglyphs date back 11,000 years ago to uh, 1,000 years ago. So Native Americans were living in this valley that we've been hiking for 11,000 years. Uh, very interesting area. Yeah, they said that they found uh, some Clovis points out here also from the Clovis area, which is, uh, I think, something that Forrest Fenn had been interested in also. Yeah, this is a, 
area that's real rich in history going back 11,000 years. Yeah. And we're uh, not too far north of Thermopolis. Yeah. So we're we're between Matitsi, Matitsi uh -huh. and Thermopolis right now. But um, pretty remote area, but really beautiful. Right. I think we're going to call it a day. Yeah, we checked out a bunch of areas we wanted to check out. Uh -huh. Nothing, uh, didn't turn up anything real interesting there. No. No place I'd want to lay my bones. Yeah, but in case anybody out there is interested in this area, it's, it's a really beautiful area. I'm going to put it into a video. We ended our day in Cody. We met up with Joel Lewicki and his beautiful family. We weren't sure if it would come together since we were both out on the road, but I'm so glad everything worked out. Thanks, Joel, for waiting for us. Hey, Ramblin', what are you doing there? I'm soaking my poor aching feet after all of our searching that we did today. <laughs> this is good warm water, though. We'll be in Cody for the next few days. We have another area to search. We'll catch up with you guys later.